What's up guys? This is Massey. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to deal with math and chemistry questions, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. This video I want to show you how to solve trigonometric equation and the equation I selected for you is 4 cosine squared theta minus 4 cosine theta plus 1 equals to 0 and we need to solve it for theta and theta must be between 0 and 2 pi. First thing I want to do I need to solve this quadratic equation. I'm going to use factoring method. So factoring method I'm going to use AC method. AC method is saying that 4 times 1 is going to be 4. And here we have negative 4. So we are looking for two numbers. Multiply to positive 4 and add to negative 4. So we have negative 2 and negative 2. When you multiply them it's going to be positive 4. And when you add them it's going to be negative 4. So we have 4 cosine squared theta minus 2 cosine theta minus 2 cosine theta plus 1 equals to 0. So basically I change this trinomial to in the same equation with four terms. So one term, the first term is going to be the same, the last term is going to be the same, but the middle term here, instead of negative 4 cosine theta, I wrote it as negative 2 cosine and negative 2 cosine based on what we found here. So instead of one term here, I split it into two different terms. Now I want to use group factoring and I'm going to factor the first two terms and the last two terms. The first two terms is 4 cosine squared theta minus 2 cosine theta. I need to find out the GCF for these two. The GCF for these two is going to be 2 cosine theta. So 4 cosine squared divided by 2 cosine is going to be 2 cosine theta. And minus 2 cosine divided by 2 cosine is going to be negative 1. Here I need to factor that. There is no basically GCF here, but we need to take this one out of this expression. So if you compare them, if I factor negative 1, we're going to have 2 cosine theta minus 1 equals to 0. Then I need to factor this term, which is 2 cosine theta minus 1. The other one is going to be the same thing, 2 cosine theta minus 1 equals to 0. So since basically the same thing, it means that 2 cosine theta minus 1 has to be equal to 0, meaning that 2 cosine theta equals to 1 or cosine theta equals to 1 over 2. Now I want to show you what kind of theta value or value is going to give you 1 over 2. If you consider this circle, in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4, cosine is positive based on the cast rule. You remember in cast rule, quadrant 1, cosine is positive, cosine is negative in 2, cosine is negative here, and in finally in quadrant 4, cosine is positive as well. So here we're going to have pi over 3 based on the spatial angles, and here we have negative pi over 3 or 2 pi minus pi over 3. So basically these are going to be my answers. So one answer is going to be pi over 3, the other answer is 2 pi minus pi over 3, which if I have common denominator, actually it's going to be 3 here, that's going to be 6 pi minus pi, it's going to be 5 pi over 3. So we have 5 pi over 3, and these are going to be the final answer, pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. I will leave more related playlist questions and playlist video in the description if you need more extra help or practice question you can take a look to the description part and please don't forget to subscribe this channel you can have access to many other videos regarding math and chemistry if you found this video useful please like it and share it with your friends thank you for watching and have a great day